Hello, I'm Lance Lamont, and this is a Jestercom. Today is September 30th, 2013. Tonight I'm reporting on the Intercare class action suit that was filed last August of 2012. There was to be a settlement conference at a Los Angeles courthouse room at 600 South Commonwealth, and it was continued from September 18th to October 16th, 2013. What has been going on in this case is that a class of claims adjusters, workers' compensation claims adjusters from Intercare have claimed that they're owed overtime wages. This debate about whether claims adjusters are exempt or non-exempt meaning exempt from overtime or not exempt from overtime has been going on for some years now. The same kind of a case was filed against Liberty Mutual and settled and Farmers, State Farm, and now there's one going on with Keenan. So whether claims adjusters are purely administrative or whether they're productive is still a question that remains to be answered. Well, two lead plaintiffs got together and filed this case with the law firm of the Matthews Group in Pasadena acting as their attorneys, the plaintiff's attorneys. The first lead plaintiff is Edward Gaw. He was terminated from Intercare's Pasadena office in 2011. And the other employee adjuster is Sylvia Lopez. She was terminated from Intercare's Orange office in 2009. Well, the suit alleges that claims adjusters Many that are in the class, I believe it's about 60 to 70, I'm making a guess there, were required to work more than eight hours a day, more than 40 hours a week, and even more than 12 hours a day. The complaint goes on about how Intercare made the computer systems available, adjusters could log on over the internet from their homes at night and work at night because they had computer access, they could work all weekend. They were just working all the time, according to what this lawsuit alleges. The lawsuit alleges that all adjusters were required to fill out false time cards. In other words, they would fill out their time card, but they were required to put eight hours, eight hours, eight hours for each day. When, as a matter of fact and reality, that's not what they were working. They were working a lot more than that. Well, the attorney from Intercare, who graciously answered this writer's email, said that they, Intercare, are not in a position to comment on pending litigation. So the information that I received from Edward Gaw and from another third person that the settlement is going to be for $300,000 could not be verified. It wasn't verified by Intercare's legal department. But that's what's being said, is that the settlement is on the table for $300,000 that both sides are now ironing out the details. Intercare wants a no admission of liability clause in it. And also it's being said that they are requesting a non-disclosure clause. So that in the end when the settlement is done, there will be no records that can be accessed by the public. That's the way that I'm understanding it. Okay, so until October 16th, nothing further will be known about this case. Thank you for listening. Good night. I'm Lance Lamont, and this is Adjustercom.